Hey guys, Eric here, and I'm going to talk to you today about why Teamsy is so effective. So you guys may have gotten in there into your free trial and tried it out a little bit and thought, wow, that's pretty cool. But why are people getting such amazing results with Teamsy? The reason why people are getting such incredible results is because Teamsy is more than an app. At its core, it's a proven system. It's a system that has been proven to work to build business effectively. The system's called relationship marketing. Okay, and this relationship marketing is like the secret ingredient to Teamsy. Everything that Teamsy does is based on these principles. So let me jump into a presentation real quick, and I'm just gonna teach you a little bit about it because relationship marketing is the system that you can leverage to become a power hour boss. A little bit about my story, some of you guys know it. I've been a business coach my whole grown up life, um, working with people in the real estate profession. I was an executive at one of the larger coaching companies in that industry, and I've been helping people build their business for a long time. These are all principles that are built into Teamsy, okay? Um, Teamsy was built because as a network marketer myself, I struggled with the fact that I had no tools to leverage my time to make me more efficient. When I had a full-time career and a family and I only had an hour or two a day to build my business, I just didn't have time to work out of a notebook or spreadsheets or things like that. And that's why we built Teamsy. But let me talk to you a little bit about relationship marketing. Relationship marketing is a lead generation system. It's a lead generation system, okay? And that's a system that initiates consumer interest or inquiry into the products or services of a business. Kind of a boring way to say, it's a great way to get people interested in what you're doing, okay? So it's not just feel good, we're gonna connect with people, it's gonna be awesome. It's also a way that generates interest in your business. Here's the principle I want you guys to really internalize. Your business is not marketing products or, or whatever it is that your, that your network does. You're in the lead generation business. Your business every day is to create new leads. Okay. Now, just so you know, from the perspective of relationship building versus transactional thinking, I want you guys to understand my definition of lead generation is this. Lead generation work is when you meet new people or when you go deeper with the relationships you already have. It's when you meet new people or you go deeper in the relationships you already have. And that's what we're going to do with Teamsy. We're going to go deeper with our relationships and we're going to meet new people, add them to our list and go deeper with those relationships too. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the next principle, which is developing and deepening relationships is the paramount duty as a business owner. Developing and deepening relationships is your paramount duty as a business owner. Your duty is not to make sales. Your duty is not to make profit. It's to create relationships, and it's to go deeper with relationships. Guys, I want you guys to really get this. This is what's so different about what we're doing here. We're not gonna be going out and wounding relationships, hurting relationships with your friends and family like so many network marketing strategies do. Alienating them, scaring them, making them hang up on you or hide from you. You know, like uh, the guy in, in, what was that movie with uh, Groundhog Day? Remember, remember Ned, was it Ned? The insurance salesman on Groundhog Day that he was constantly trying to avoid, you don't wanna be that person. It's about the relationships first. If you focus on the relationships First, everything else happens. You don't burn bridges, you build them. So this is what we wanna do is we wanna turn relationships into advocates. We wanna turn them into advocates by investing time and providing outstanding service. An advocate, guys, that's somebody who, they just can't stop talking about you and your business. They bring people actively to your business and you know what it feels like to be an advocate because every one of you is an advocate for half a dozen different products or companies just because you love what they're doing for you in your life. And that's what we want to do. We want to take those relationships and over time create advocates. Okay, so here's another important principle I want you to get down. That relationship marketing depends on trust. It depends on trust, okay? You have to, people have to trust you for this to work. But trust is what makes the work fun. Because if they trust you, even just a little bit, you don't have to convince them. You can get right to helping them. You can get right to whatever it is that you can do to help them and improve their life. Also, trust takes that icky salesperson feeling out of, out of the equation. How many of you guys just never wanna be thought of as an icky salesperson? If, if you build just a little bit of trust, that never happens. And then you get to go for yes. All right, those of you guys who have watched any of my trainings know that whole go for no concept drives me insane. The thought of, 
I'm gonna go through my list as quickly as I can and get all the no's out of the way so I can get to a yes. Like, it gives me a stomach ache. I don't wanna be rejected by my friends and family. I don't want my friends and family to think I'm somebody to be avoided. I wanna go for a yes. I'm gonna spend time building trust so that I can get yeses and not no's. Does that make sense? I'm gonna go for yes. So let me show you how to build trust. There's four principles. Four principles for building trust, four essential ingredients. Okay, I'll go through them quickly, then I'll break them out for you. The first one's chemistry. Chemistry. The second one is character. Character. And then we have competence, competence, and consistency. Consistency. No, there's only four, not eight. I repeated them so you could write them all down. I want you to take good notes. Okay, so let's go through chemistry. Chemistry is where you have common ground with someone. What is it about you they can relate to? It's important to find chemistry with people. Now, some of you guys ha have awesome um, attraction marketing campaigns in place. You're finding your niche. You're marketing to them on social media. You're attracting people like you. They've already got chemistry with you. But when you, when you connect with their relationships, you need to find common ground. And it's easy to find common ground. Ask questions and then close your mouth. You, God gave you two ears and one mouth. Listen to wants and needs, find out about them, and find your common ground. The second one is character. Character. Character is when you demonstrate how much you care and that you're relatable. Character is when you demonstrate how much you care and that you're relatable. Please notice something about this, guys. Character is not something you have. It's something you do. It's an action, kind of like love. You can't have love, you, get, you are love, you, you do love, right? Character is something that you demonstrate. So don't get twisted and be like, oh my gosh, how did that person question my integrity right now? They should. If you haven't been demonstrating your character, they don't know that you have character, okay? This is important. And when you guys are doing any kind of communication, face-to-face, voice-to-voice, social media, you need to be demonstrating your care. It needs to be about them, not about you, right? And you only tell stories about you that are relatable to them. Does that make sense? Okay. The third is competence. Competence. Competence is when you demonstrate that you are good at what you do and you are a business person. Can I trust you to help me? Can I trust you to mentor me in this business? Okay. I need to see that you demonstrating your competence. Now, here's the cool thing about this. If you're new to the business, you can lean on the competence of your team in your upline and the other people on your team. You can lean on their competence, which is an amazing thing about this business. I love that about it. All right, so the fourth one, let's, before, actually, before I move on to the fourth one, I wanna give you the, this principle. People only care about three things. Can I trust you? Do you care about me? And are you good at what you do? Can I trust you? Do you care about me? And are you good at what you do? You can see what kind of inspired the first three points. But here's what I want you to know about this principle. When you come up against objections in your business, they always stem from these three questions. Now, you need to be a pro and be prepared to overcome objections. Absolutely. But understand they're happening because these three questions in that person's heart of hearts are not answered yet, which means you have time to continue working on that relationship. Okay, consistency is the fourth one. And consistency is the one that gets me because ah, it's the most important thing there is. And it's so frustratingly hard to do, isn't it? It's so hard. Here's a principle for you about consistency. People respect consistency and desire it for themselves. People respect consistency and they desire it for themselves. This is huge. It's just huge to understand this. This is why people are inspired by you and what you're doing on social media. They think you're an inspiration. You guys ever hear that? They're amazed by you. It's not because you're perfect or amazing or that you've, you've arrived. It's because they see you being consistent, doing small things that are difficult for them. That's what's inspiring to them, okay? And there's a great book. I always recommend it to people um, which talks about this in one of his chapters. It's called Influence, Psychology Persuasion. Awesome book. Someday, Bob Cialdini, someday you're gonna see this video and you're gonna to wanna to give me um, some royalties and I will take them, just so you know, because I've recommended your book to everybody. But here's the book, I'll put it on the screen for you so you can get it down, Influence of Psychology of Persuasion. The six, um, the six Laws of Social Persuasion, awesome, awesome personal development read, okay? But one of the things he talks about in here is that the desire to be consistent is one of the primary motivating factors for all people. It's huge, I mean, 
consistency is everything. And we also know it's the key to our success. So let me ask you guys this. Are you consistent? Are you consistent with your relationships? Are you as consistent with your relationships as you are about doing things like posting on social media? Right? Are you? This is your checkup from the neck up. And what I mean by this is that people won't believe you until they see you. They see you posting on social media that you have this amazing life. Your network marketing business has given you this amazing life. But if you're not reaching out to them individually, why are they going to believe you really care about them? Why are they going to believe you're talking to them when they haven't heard from you since high school? Okay, you need to be consistently reaching out to people because relationship building is a contact sport. It's a contact sport. You need to be in regular contact with people, but time is scarce, right? I know that. Here's your principle. Investing time in connecting with people is the only way to deepen relationships. Investing time in connecting with people is the only way to deepen relationships. Guys, there's no other way to do it. There's no other way to do it. Have you ever thought about why when you get a handwritten note from somebody like a card, they've written a really nice, um, really nice note in there for you, why you keep it, why you value it, why you can't throw it away? Why is that? When you get a postcard from the dentist's office saying happy birthday, you don't keep that. The reason why you keep that personal note card is because it represents an investment of time, some of these most precious, precious commodity. And that was undivided attention. They weren't Facebooking or chasing Pokemon or something while they were writing you that note in that card. They couldn't. That was your time, and it means so much. It deepened your relationship when you read it. You kept that card. Investing time deepens relationships. And I'm not saying you need to write note cards all the time, though you should be doing that. But even just messaging people one-on-one, -on -one, taking a second out of your day to connect with them individually makes all the difference. What you're going to need, guys, is this. You need a system. You need a system that helps you stay in contact with all your relationships. Know when you're going to contact them, okay? You should know what you're going to say when you're going to contact them so you can be really efficient with your time and make sure that people aren't falling through the cracks. This is exactly what Team Z does. That's why you're here watching this video. But I wanted you guys to understand that the secret weapon is relationship marketing. The secret weapon is building relationships. It's loving people. It's spreading the joy in your life. It's helping others. I hope that was helpful to you guys. Thank you for bearing through my technical glitch in the middle. Have an awesome day. We'll talk to you soon.